Hello my friends, Chris Biffle, Coach B, ready for another rippingly wonderful, exciting program. Let me get my screen set up, as always. It takes just a moment to get things set up in the best possible way. Hang on. This is May 12th, and the program is about citations from text. couple more little fine touches here and we are ready to go here we go program 578 tell your neighbors how excited you are about whole brain teaching and tell your neighbors whether or not not only have you bought the book but you wrote a review of the book that's what we'd like to know have you written a review of the book my friends blizzard is one of our wonderful rising stars nancy's written a review M. Carlson says, so excited, bought the book, so much for the commercial. Jackie is so excited she can't even type. We are one of the largest education websites in the world, certainly one of the largest free ones. And here's our favorite friends, Biffy Bluebird and Smarty Wonderbeak. Hi, Biffy. Hi, Coach. What if someone wants a copy of these slides or needs professional development certificate? Smarty, what do you say to that? Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Details are at the end of this program. So my friends, if you want a copy of these slides, a professional development credit, we'll tell you how at the end of the program. Here we go. Rocking program tonight. Before we jump into the nightmarish problem of teaching kids how to cite a text in their essays, let's review WBT's wonderful new critical thinking game, The Brainies. I'm turning to my digital audience. Who out there has been playing The Brainies and how's it been going? Oh my good, MCM Sprinkle has read and completed the book club challenges. Crystal Long is having a lot of fun. Ashley Pierce is playing it. Terry B.R. has just started. Andre says it's a terrific new game. Elizabeth says she's been playing. And Nancy's going to send me a video tonight. Wow. Sarah says she uses the brainies every day. And D. Manuel is generating super speed topic sentences. Bless your souls. All right, here's the new rules. Not too new. Here's our current collection of brainy gestures that teach kids critical thinking, grammar and punctuation. Note the new brainies. Here they are. Can you see any new brainies, you brainy experts? Tell me. New brainies? You see any? What are the new brainies, my friends? Colon and semicolon, says Crystal Long. Yes, you're right. That's one of them. Topic sentence, Jackie. We had that one last week, but it's a new one. You're missing a huge one. Two huge ones, my friends. 
Changes has been around a while. Anthony Lutz, you're right. There is a nether. Yes, Crystal. Keep printing. We'll keep changing. Here's the new ones, my friends. Deep citation right here. End mark. Period has changed to end mark. And colon and semicolon. Let's do it. Here's the other side of the brainies. This way you can use them as a giant flashcard. A powerful new brainy is Nmark. Check it out. We used to call it period. Let's call it Nmark now and really solve a lot of problems. Period gesture. Push one hand out and say, er, like you're stepping on the brakes. Question mark gesture. Draw a question mark in the air, and when you come to the period, push your hand out and say, er, exclamation mark, draw an exclamation mark in the air, and when you come to the period, push your hand out and say, er, let's look at those. Here is the power of the end mark gesture. We're doing this, er, for period, but a question mark, er, and an exclamation mark, those also use a little dot. So now we've got our end marks covered. Period, question mark, exclamation mark. You just draw a question mark and exclamation mark in the air and put in the er. Asking my online audience, are you digging now having all three end marks? So much simpler. Jackie Nisano is laughing out loud. She's laughing out loud, LOL, or she's lying on a lizard. Sarah says, yes, she digs it. Lizard is digging it. Oh, Terry BR is dig, dig, digging it. And M. Carlson likes the end marks. You're right, Carlson. Let's throw in question marks and exclamation marks. Here's another one. I stole this one from Andre, Louisiana Andre. Check this out, my friends. An even more powerful new brainy is colon and semicolon. Note, it is worth five points, gosh and golly. Here is the colon semicolon gesture. You notice it looks like the period gesture, but it has a red star by it. Colon gesture, you just make two periods, er, er. semicolon gesture, you make a period and a comma, er, zoop. See, tremendous mileage that we're getting out of this earth. Let's review all the earths. Period. Earth. Question mark. Earth. Exclamation mark. Earth. Colon. Earth. Earth. Semicolon. Earth. Zoop. So we just add different sound effects and a couple of slightly different gestures, and we got everything covered now. Three end marks. Colon and semicolon. Oh, sweet mama, it just gets better and better. How much are you digging these brand new variations on the period gesture? And you're right, colon and semicolon are worth five because they are not simple to use. And Sarah Meta, you're right. You only get points for using these the first time you use them. We're going to go in detail again on the rules again because I want to see, I want to see some more videos, don't you? Andre's right, no double dipping, because we want kids to, now, we'll discuss the other new brainy, deep citation, in a moment. That's why you're here, is to find out how to do citations from text. Brainies is a game that's currently played in two levels. I'm going to slow down now. Super Speed Brainies and Competition Brainies. You've been watching for the last month this Brainy game unfold and get better and better. Tonight, it's as good as it's been. It's better than it's been. How to play Super Speed Brainies. Pay attention, Deb Manuel. The teacher selects a topic and one or more Brainies. In one minute, students try to speak using Brainies as many sentences as possible on the topic. 
One point is scored for every sentence. At the end of a minute, points are totaled. The game is played again as students try to beat their high score. Now you can play it solo. Students set individual high scores. You can play doubles. A pair of students sets a high score. One speaks a brainy than the other and so forth for a minute. Or triples. Same as doubles. But with three kids. When playing solo doubles or triples, students should explain, help me, when they need assistance from an onlooker. Let's go over that again. Super speed brainies, the simplest way to play brainies. You pick one or more topics. The kids try to speak as many sentences as possible using whatever brainies you've picked out in a minute. Now, they only score points for every sentence. This is a simple version of brainies. If the kids are having problem totaling the sentences, play solo brainies. John plays for a minute. Marcia makes a mark for every sentence that John completes. At the end of a minute, John plays again and tries to break his solo record. Then Marcia plays solo. Or, John and Marcia take turns, sentence, 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 and one of them makes tally marks for every sentence each one speaks, or triples, that's if you have an odd number of kids in your room. You can play super speed brainy solo, doubles, or triples. And if kids are having a little problem, start with solo. Tell me how excited you are by solo, doubles, and triples, super speed brainies. A whole new tweak. Anybody digging solo, double, and triples? You see how it makes things so much easier? S. Reads can't wait. Loftus says it's pretty cool. J. Cruz is so excited. Nancy digs it. Super Cool Bean says Michelle Shelton. Addie Kelly is digging the variety. It's very, very fast. You're right. All right. So that is Super Speed Brainies, the simplest version of the Brainies. Here we go. Competition Brainies. Select a topic or draw a random topic from a list of important concepts covered thus far in the school year. Kids have a minute to plan on how to use the highest scoring Brainies in an oral essay on the topic. With a three minute time limit while a video camera records the action, the teacher points at one student after another to use mirror words and speak a sentence in a triple whammy essay on the topic. If students uh, freeze up, they call help me. If a student makes an error and the teacher calls you're still cool, the student fixes the error, calls help me, or as a last resort, the teacher corrects the error. Don't let kids' errors go uncorrected. You're supposed to be teaching them. At the end of three minutes, the class watches the instant replay of the game and calculates their score. Then they play again and try to beat their score. Let's go over that. Competition brainies. The brainies have point values. Let's look at the point values again for the brainies. Point values, one, two, three, or five. So when kids play this game, they're using the points associated with the brainies. You give the kids a minute to prepare, you select a topic and you select the brainies, then you start calling on the kids one at a time. Make your smartest kid the first kid. They give a triple whammy sentence, a sentence with three parts. Keep calling on kids. They are using mirror words when they do the brainies. They got three minutes. Everything stops. You watch the videotape and you score it. We'll talk about scoring in a second. Does anyone have any questions? And that's what's so great about live. Any questions about super speed brainies or competition brainies? 
Andre Desch said the game went so quickly he couldn't finish his foamy latte, which is serious. Crystal Long plays at the first three enter first three minutes of the day and last six. Nancy says it's a high energy with this game. Three minutes goes by. Zip. So anyone have any questions about competition brainies or super speed brainies? I'm gonna take a drink of California Clear. Here's to you, my dear audience. Do the kids notice their mistake when they watch the videos back? I'd like to know. Any questions? Looks like there's no questions. Everybody's bidding Sarah Metter goodbye. That's sweet. Addie Cully? Yes, they do love the instant replay. That is a huge engagement factor. All right. Let us look at how we score this wonderful game. Scoring. Detail adders score every time they're used. This rewards students for adding lots of details. Other brainies only score the first time they're used. Thus a capital letter brainy only scores once. This rewards students for using as many different brainies as possible. There are now about 33. A deep brainy worth 10 points may be awarded by the teacher for an especially complex sentence. This rewards students for constructing complex, insightful sentences. A deep citation brainy worth 15 points may be awarded by the teacher for a correct use of a quotation from a text. We'll get to that in a second. This rewards students for creating citations. Here's the deal. Here's the big point. I'm going to really emphasize it. All in all, high scores are only possible under four conditions. A large variety of brainies are used. Lots of detail adders are employed. Sentences of significant complexity are constructed. And supporting citations are created. All of which is what we want. I want to see some excitement from my online audience about how this game rewards for exactly what we've dreamed of rewarding for. Addie had an awesome idea with that commentator. You understand the grading. Looks like we understand the grading. All right. The scoring is, is simple and powerful. Addie Kelly says her writing scores this year are through the roof. I wish you'd send me an email and let me know about that. So, we want them to plan carefully. Every second is precious. Accuracy is vital because the teacher will call you out on mistakes. Don't repeat. Add details and go deep. And there's lots of advantages of playing brainies. I want you to tell me. What are some advantages of playing super speed brainies or competition brainies? Advantages. Nancy says her second graders write five paragraph essays independently now with brainies. Student engagement says ST reads. Makes dreaded writing fun, says Michelle Shelton. Loftus says practice, practice, practice. D. Manuel says, get students excited about writing, and A.D. Lutz, 
Students can write in a non-threatening environment. Helen Bro says it's fun, not boring. Blizzard says presenting in front of others. Fun practice. Almost instant reinforcement, says Sasha 21. Competition, critical thinking is fun, says MCM Sprinkle. Liz from Elizabeth says we hardly teach grammar anymore. This makes it fun. They become better speakers. Makes me a better teacher, says Michelle. Beautiful. I'm happy, you're happy. That's all it takes to make me happy is to see that you're happy. All right. Now, let's talk about deep citation brainies. Here's the graphic for the deep citation brainy. Notice that it looks like a deep sentence. Give me an ah, but it has this arrow here. Here's the gesture for deep sentence. This is a gesture for deep sentence. A deep citation. Oh yeah, we're going a deep citation. We really got to go deep with this citation. So it uses this idea we have to dive in deep, and it makes it even more dramatic. 15 points for a deep citation. And you'll see, it's a challenge, as it should be. All right, let me see if my online audience, if everybody online, is with me on the deep citation gesture. Blizzard says, ah. Terry B.R. says, oh yeah. Michelle says, 15 points. S.T. Reed says, yes. Cruz is with me. B.R. Double Seven, Double Zero Seven says, yes. And Liz from Elizabeth has got it. Our Heart 18 says, definitely. It's a more pronounced dive. Blizzard, you're right. All right. Now let's, let's go forward here, because this is huge. So here's just a description, but I want you to look. This is the sentence frame that's going to teach your kids how to make deep citations. It's right here. Let's go even smaller. I think that's as small as we can go. According to source, credentials, sentence, detail adder. That's the sentence frame we want kids to use. Now you can pick another sentence frame, but this one is very, very useful. Lindsay Rausch has used a version of this. I'm going to go into depth now on this sentence frame. Check it out. According to source, credentials, sentence, detail, adder. The source, who said it? Where did the quotation come from? Is it a book or an article? Is it an authority? Did it come from the internet? You start with according to source. Let me explain this. If you start with according to source, that fits whether it's a person or a place. If you say blank believes or blank states, that's only appropriate for a person. But according to will go for any source website, book, person, according to source. All right, let's practice right now. Just give me that first piece. You fill in the sentence frame. That's what's so great about my online audience. According to blank, what are some sources that kids should be filling in there? According to blank, fill in some sources. Sure, they should underline the book title. That all comes along. Give me some examples, online audience, of according to source. According to Coach B, that's right. According to Time Magazine, says Blizzard. According to Dr. Seuss, says Liz from Elizabeth. According to Coach, says Nancy. According to the American Medical Journal, yes, Andre. According to Scholastic News, says R. Hart. According to Chris Biffle and Whole Brain Teaching, yes. Now, according to Martin Luther King, according to the map on page 45, 
According to Realtor.com. According to National Geographic. All right, you've got it. You're wonderful. Come back to me now. Come back. Now let's go to the next piece. Credentials. This is huge. What makes this source relevant to the topic? Dr. Husitz, professor of biology at UCLA. Wholebrainteaching.com, one of the Internet's most popular education websites. The Students' Encyclopedia, standard reference work published by McGraw-Hill. Let me emphasize this as a college teacher. Let me speak from high up in the ivory tower. You've got to have the kids put in the credentials. The credentials determine the value of the source. The American Medical Journal. What is that? Did somebody just cook it up in their garage? Or is it the standard reference work for doctors around the world? Put in the stinking credentials. I'm going to say this again. When the kid quotes a person, unless the person's well known, unless it's something like Time Magazine, they have to say why this person is an authority. Look at this again. Who is Dr. Husitz? He's professor of biology at UCLA, that's who. What is WholeBrainTeaching.com? Well, it's one of the Internet's most popular education websites. All right. Online audience. Give me some examples. Give me source, comma, credentials, comma. Source, comma, credentials, comma. It's in a positive. Yes, Nancy Stoltenberg. Come on now. According to Professor Albus Dumbledore, headmaster of Hogwarts, thank you very much, Bree Double Seven. According to M.L. King Jr., the main leader of the Civil Rights Movement. According to Booker T. Washington, a civil rights activist. According to Scholastic News, one of the leading student newspapers in the U.S. According to Beyonce, a noted singer and dancer. According to DSM-5, the reference manual used by mental health professionals. That's exactly the pattern. According to Andrea Schindler, leading WBT teach. Is everybody, I, I just need to know, are you with me on the importance of the statement of credentials? If they're quoting Martin Luther King, they do not need to state his credentials. If they're quoting Barack Obama, they do not need to state their credentials. If they're quoting Time Magazine, they do not need to state their credentials. But it would be good practice. This is a huge point. I, I just wonder if you get it. The credentials determine the value of the quotation. I'm taking my glasses off. Listen to me. The credentials determine the value of the, of the quotation. No credentials, no value. Does everybody get it? Are you with me? Tell me about it. Addie Kelly is digging it. And you're right, Liz from Elizabeth. I think kids need to do this for whoever they quote. They don't know who Martin Luther King is or Cesar Chavez. Why not do it? You know, it's up to you on Barack Obama. Give credit where credit is due, says Sprinkle. Addie Kelly thinks it's great. I do too, Addie. All right. Now let's keep walking through this. When citing from the Internet a jumble of useful and useless information, citing the website's credentials is imperative. Just because a statement is on the internet does not make it an authoritative source. Students must learn this yesterday. I'm talking to you again as a college instructor. The internet is the greatest of all possible worlds and the worst. A quotation from an undescribed website is of no value to a college instructor. It should be of no value to anyone else. BigNews.com. You know what? What is BigNews.com? 
Why should we even listen to bignews.com? Are you with me on this internet thing? That if you're quoting from the internet, you need the credentials enormously? I got a feeling that you're with me because you're suffering from the lack of credentials. Wikipedia, I would state, you know, I would just get them in the habit. And uh, there's problems with Wikipedia. In college, we don't use Wikipedia because some of those articles are bum. All right. Find good sources. If it's a good print source, it's a good internet source. But tell us why. Validity of information, says Addie Kelly. Addie Kelly's on fire tonight. She's a chief commentator. Let's keep going. If the source is well known, Albert Einstein, Cesar Chavez, the Los Angeles Times, the Disney.com, the credentials need not be stated. I need some input from my teacher friends. We need to decide this right now. Should we just say, whatever source you cite, give us the credentials? Should we just make that an iron rule? If so, I'll change this right now with your input. Yes or no? Every source needs credentials, including the president? Cruz says do it. Southern Teacher says yes. A.D. Lutz says yes. Andre says yes. All right. Elementary, sure. More reps. Okay. My friends, I'm going to change this before I send it out. I'm taking out that page. I'm following your direction, which I rarely do. So this is a moment where I give you the grand salami. Salami. You know, taking advice, that's like... It must be something weird with the moon. Coach B's taking advice here. All right. Great advice. Okay. Quotations can be phrases. Cesar Chavez, Chavez believed we should continue fighting for equality. But in general, look, we want a sentence here. We want an independent clause. And we want a detail adder. This is huge. Students must add an explanatory detail adder after the quotation to unite the quote to the essay's topic. Too often students drop in a quote, but then they don't say anything about how the quotation relates to their theme. I'm asking Giselle Cruz and Andre Desch, who are our highfalutin middle school teachers, wouldn't you love it? Giselle Cruz and Andre, if kids came to your class and knew that when they give a quotation, they have to add something after the quotation to tie it in, let's talk to our upper grade teachers. Cruz would love it with capital letters. Sprinkle might faint. Blizzard says she's ready. Blizzard's an upper grade teacher. We need that detail adder there. Andre says, of course, evidence support is always encouraged. I thought I might be on the same wavelength here. All right. Let's go back to the screen. Now here's a sample. According to Dr. Husitz, professor of biology at UCLA, we are what we eat. And then the detail adder. The health of our body is determined by the food we put into it. Notice the importance of credentials. We should listen to him because he's a professor of biology at UCLA. According to Whole Brain Teaching, one of the internet's most popular education websites, the longer we talk, the more students we lose. Here is 
the detail adder. Long lectures produce little learning. More samples. According to StarReporter.com, we should fight for equality. But with no credentials, why should we listen to them? According to Senator Steinberg, an authority on global pollution, the oceans are full of amazing quantities of dangerous chemicals. The health of the human race is endangered by the pollutants we pour into the sea. Notice the importance of the detail adder. According to Lionel Nelson, an actor in over 50 indie films, the most creative work in filmmaking is being done outside the major studios. Detail adder. Independent producers and directors are producing work of amazing quality which establishment Hollywood can only envy. Detail adder. Nails it down. Now let's take a look at the key features, features of punctuation and deep citations. Everybody with me so far on this deep citation. Everybody with me? No questions. All right. We're all on board. Thank you, Jackie. All right. Now let's... I, I'm going to tell you something. I got something really cool coming up. I do. You know. I often keep my promises. All right, here we go. Here is punctuation. Capital letter, and we start. Very often kids make the mistake right there at sentence. They don't start that with a capital letter because it's not the start. Now, technically, that is an independent clause, but some people may be more comfortable just calling it a sentence. So note that punctuation. How often, how often do you note that mistake of not having a capital letter right there? Very common mistake. All right, I'm pressing forward. I think we're all on the same page. Now, there's our capital letter. Let's look at more punctuation. Look at the commas. That's the appositive. Comma before and after credentials. The period goes inside the quotes. The period goes inside the quotes. The period goes inside the quotes. Some of you are saying, Coach, we love whole brain teaching. We want to get a tattoo. We know you don't like tattoos, but there is one tattoo I'd love to see in Louisiana. The tattoo would say, on your forearm, the period goes inside the quotes. Tell each other how much doubt there is in America as to where the stinking period goes. That's right, Jackie. There's a lot of mystery in the United States about where that period goes. Liz from Elizabeth already has the tattoo. And the question mark goes inside the quotes. It all goes inside the quotes. Thank you, Mom Sprinkle. All right, back to work. Something cool coming up. Something very cool. The obvious question now is how do we teach kids to actually use deep citations in the brainy game? Prepare to be shocked. I want to know is my online audience prepared to be shocked? I'm taking a drink because I need to give you some time to prepare. Blizzard's putting the pillows down. She's a veteran. She knows. Prepare to be shocked. Cruz loves the shock factor. 
Our heart is sitting safely on the couch. I hope it's a low couch, our heart. Taking off the glasses, says Shelly Moko. And Andre, A.D. Lutz says, hit, hit me. Helen Bow is sitting down. Man, we are on the same wavelength. It's so fun to teach you guys. All right, here we go. Prepare to be shocked. Here it is. We tell students to make up a source, its credential, and the quotation on the fly. Are you shocked? Are you shocked? Were you prepared to be that shocked? Shocked but love it. Shock says Jackie Nisano. A.D. Lutz says, that's amazing. Liz from Elizabeth is shocked with spaces. Isn't that cheating, says Helen Bow. Just wait. On the fly, says C.D. Baker. All day shocked. Michelle Shelton says, loving it. Let me show you how to do this. Let me show you how to do this. Look. Stay with me. Let me tell you this. Look. Get this, it's not cheating because they're doing it orally. This is practicing. They're not making up the quotations when they actually write. Is that an important distinction? Oral practice of learning the pattern. And the only way they're gonna get oral practice with hundreds of reps is orally. Has everybody got that distinction? No, it's not cheating because they're not writing it down and turning it in. S.T. Reed says she's got it. But you still don't know the cool thing. You don't know the cool thing. I, I don't know. I, you know, I got people who think that like they're ready for this, but yeah, I'm going to give it to you. Crystal Long, you're going to need this in Washington, D.C. Long. Here it comes. Check this out. To make it easier, we encourage kids to begin with the awfully simple deep citation sentence frame. As you know, the ASDCSF. Now, is your heart starting to beat too fast for you? What on earth is the awfully simple deep citation sentence frame? Do you have medical clearance for this, my friends? The awfully simple deep sentence Deep citation sentence frame, the ASDCSF. Holy guacamole, says Bree. Our heart says, without an ounce of pride, our heart just says, please share. ST Reed says, is there a poster? Blizzard says she might need more meds. Here, here it comes, Nancy. Nancy, you've never seen this. Awfully simple deep citation sentence frame. According to Dr. Blank, professor of blank at Blank University, sentence detail adder, there it is. There is the awfully simple deep citation sentence frame. With that frame, kids can support anything. You see that? How do you like the ASD? C S F. Who thinks it rocks? Outstanding, says Nancy. You see, with that sentence frame, kids will learn the pattern. Let me take this out of the way again. But I love your reactions. Ad Let's Ad Let's says so cool. Six says Bree 007. Awesome says R Heart 18. Oh, cool says Ashley Pierce. Look at it again. I'll get this out of the way. There it is. Just put that up on the board. Give them a topic and let them fill this in over and over and over again. And we need to know what this person is a professor of. This is where you're going to get the reps. Middle school cool, says Mom Sprinkle. 
Andre, you're right. Giselle Cruz, are you still out there? I hope you are. Giselle, what are you thinking, my dear middle school person? Cruz is there. Cruz, what do you think, my friend? Andre's on board. That's right, Liz from Elizabeth. Good, Michelle. All right. Thanks for that note from Philadelphia there, Cruz. All right. I want you all now to practice. Give me some practice. Give me examples of how you're going to use this according to Dr. Blank, Professor of Blank at Blank, Sentence Detail Adder, go. Let's see some samples from you. Give me some samples of this sentence frame. I'll try not to cover it up so much. There's the sentence frame. Rock it now, my friends. So this is the way they use a brainy deep citation when they're playing the brainy game. Sarah, good to have you back. According to Dr. Mason, professor at Brickmakers University, bricks are hard. They certainly are. According to Dr. Billy, professor of math at school 30, 5 plus 5 is 10. We check this out using our fingers. Give me some more. Sarah, you're back. Fill in this sentence frame. It's the awfully simple deep citation sentence frame. Come on, Sarah. You're on, you're on line here. You guys are writing some good citations. Dr. Jones, professor of archaeology at Temple University. That's good, Bree. Bree, you're a funny person. All right. Now, ST reads you need to add an adder after that. Be sure you add the adders. Oh, I see. Those quotations is, are just wonderful. Professor with the right specialty can be an authority on anything the student is talking about. To build student skill with deep citations, play super speed brainies with the awfully simple deep citation sentence frame. Write a list of topics on the board and let the kids play, setting and breaking super speed records. Just play with that sentence frame. Here's the game. In one minute, fill in this sentence frame as many times as possible on the assigned topics. There's the game that will solve the Common Core problem right there on one screen. Solves the Common Core problem of citing from text. One stinking screen. One game. Anyone delirious with excitement about that game? One little game, the nightmare of citing from a text that everyone's afraid of with Common Core. It's just a super speed game. Liz from Elizabeth is on the floor. ST Reads is going to show it to her fourth grade. Addie Kelly says Yahoo. Just amazing, says Crystal Long. Sarah met her poor kid. She's been working with her little kids all day and she fell off her chair. Helen Bo says, I'm sorry, but it just makes too much sense. They will ask Michelle to play the citation game. Our heart, I'm glad you did not hurt your dog. 
We've had more dog injuries, people getting so excited, falling on their pet. Don't make your pet pay the price of your whole rank teaching excitement. MCM Sprinkle, we need more high school teachers. All right. Let them then play competition brainies. Here's a bunch of advantages of this. I think you guys all understand the advantages. Friends, am I back? Did I get too excited? All right. You know I always come back. Look at the screen. Here it is. The new Jumbo Brainy design. Now the Jumbo Brainy is where we show one Brainy. We have a new design. Can you guys hear me? I'm waiting to see. All right. Thanks, Andre. Here's the new Jumbo Brainy design. I wish I had the old one to show you because the new one is so much better. Here it is. Check that out. How do you like the new Jumbo Brainy design? So this is where you show one Brainy at a time and you put them up on the wall. Who's digging that new design? It is so much better, isn't it, Lutz? Kids will be able to see it from further away. That really has been the problem. I wish I had the old one to show you. Let me see if I got an old one anywhere. No. That's the new design. I'm going to make a bunch of these and you can just put them up in your wall. Thank you, Addy. It is cool. You know the stuff? The star behind it was distracting, Lutz. You know what's cool? Is, first of all, it's a better size. But this kind of background stuff with the rays, when I added that today, I thought, hmm, that's pretty cool. I like the rays back there. You're right, Blizzard, we'll keep changing them. But this one at least is more visible. I'm going to make about 30 or 30. I'm going to make 33 of these. All right. Another great program tonight, my friends. Here's Ms. Linenthal. Gosh, sighting from tech sounds great, but how could I get professional development credit for this broadcast and a copy of these slides? Ms. Linenthal, are you feeling okay? Oh, Coach, I'm feeling fantastic. I had kind of a cold last week, but now I feel, I feel like Smarty Wonderbeak. I'm so healthy. <coughs> I'm glad, Ms. Linenthal, because whenever I talk to you, I need to cough. So go to PayPal, donate $5.78. I will wait tonight 10 minutes. <coughs> you donate $5.78, I'll send you a copy of this within 10 minutes tonight, guaranteed. There's the PayPal window. You will get this certificate, citing from text, and that certificate, citing from text. I say next week it's going to be about golden adjectives, but I don't know. It's just, it's been raining new ideas. So, if you need it, $5.78, I'll send you tonight's thing, or just review it and copy down the information. All right, my friends, I thank you so much for another I got a feeling it's going to slow down. I'm writing a second edition of our book, and I'm putting all this stuff into the second edition. I hopefully will be done in a couple of months. I don't 
think it can keep on growing and growing. But I've been saying that for two years. So I'll tell you what, when you're in teaching, it's like you're digging through the earth and there's earth and rocks. And every once in a while, God shows you a vein of gold. I'm following a golden vein. And my friends, I've dug up a lot of useless earth. And most of it has been useless earth for 40 years. But I'm on a little narrow golden vein, and I don't know where it's going to go, but go with me. All right, here we go. Let your grade and your location flow down the screen, my friends. We're a core group that's going to change the world. Never doubt that a small group can't change the world. The world has always only been changed by a small group. Where are you from and what grade do you teach? New Jersey and Louisiana and Pasadena and Nashville and Missouri and Charlotte and Hanford, California, says Erica. Corona, California, New Brunswick, Canada. Bless you, your Canadian soul. My friends, keep your coach in your prayers. My family, much more than me. We've been asking for prayers and receiving spiritual assistance for over two years, my friends. Over two years. So pray hard this week that we get that we get the problem lifted, my friends. Problem lifted. God bless us all. We will see you next week, and who knows where the golden vein will lead. Thanks so much for your prayers. It's Coach B signing off, saying power to the teachers and power to the kids. Until next time.